Okay gang, Private Jack here and welcome to part 8 of my series on how to take an XNA model, convert it using Blender and get it into Source Filmmaker. In this particular tutorial uh, we're just going to go over a couple of things that uh, I did in Blender in the last uh, little bit there and just talk about it a bit. Now Record Ralph here is in our shot, we've got him textured, he's got his bones assigned, and that kind of thing. Now, this would export into um, blend or, uh, into Source Filmmaker format with, with little problem. But what we need to do is just go over some of the steps that I did. So, um, when uh, I was texturing Ralph here, his materials looked like they were see-through. And the reason for that is that the model itself is made up of a bunch of little triangles um, called faces. And basically what it is, is um, I'm just looking for something here. Oh yeah, i got to go into edit mode. Okay, so here's the mesh for his body. Now these little triangles have uh, a reflectability property. Okay, so um, the triangles have to be facing a certain way in order for the materials to show through properly. What you can do is you can think of these faces, and there's one there, there's one there. You can think of these faces as a one-way mirror. Uh, people looking from one side of the mirror uh, see their reflection and people looking from the other side of the mirror see through the see through the mirror and see the other person looking in. That's referred to as the normal. So if the normals are facing inward the materials will be painted on the inside of the model. If the normal is facing outward, the material will be facing uh, will be facing outward towards the out outside. And when we actually painted Ralph, all his normals were reversed. And I'm going to show you that right now. Over here, there's another menu. I'm going to press N. Uh, let's get my screencast keys going here. There we go. There's my little mouse. Okay, I'm going to press N. That's going to bring up this menu. I don't need uh, the materials anymore. We've got everything all already assigned. So up here we're on that little area that we split the screen at, what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click on that and drag it to the right. And you'll notice a little arrow here showing me that the screen is going to expand into that area. There we go. Okay, so down here in this menu, I'm going to click on display. And if I scroll down far enough, what I'm going to find is a little area called normals. Now, I want to show the normals for the faces of the model that I have selected and I'm in edit mode for. So I'm going to click on that and you see all these little lines? They are indicating which way those faces are pointed. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the whole, uh, the whole object by pressing A. <coughs> Hello, A. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the direction of those normals. Now I can see that there are still some that are pointing outwards, uh, but what that is is probably interior um, things on the buckle that <coughs> if you bend the model a certain way it's going to like uh, point inward. Uh, these normals here, what I can do is shorten down those actual normal sizes. There we go. So coming up here, 
what you can see is that this particular normal here, this one, is pointed inwards because it starts here and comes out through the fabric. Now when I turn the textures back on, what you're going to see is that it looks like when we're looking at the front of the model, you're seeing his rear end. See? So the that way I knew that the normals were pointing the wrong way. I can see the mesh and basically when I look at his front I'm seeing his rear end. If I look at his front I'm seeing the front end. So that means that all these normals have got to be flipped back so that they're pointed outwards. And that's what I was talking about when I said flipping the normals. So I'm going to select all the model again or the all the object again. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to try to recalculate the normals. And by recalculating the normals, what Blender does is it goes through and it looks at all the uh, normals for the object that's selected and says which way is in and which way is out. I could have done it also by just clicking on flip direction, but when I do that, all it does is reverses the actual um, uh, direction of the normals. So if I've got normals that are facing out the way they should, uh, it, they'll turn in, in inwards. If they're facing inwards and need to be facing inwards, and I click on flip direction, they'll turn outwards. So by clicking on recalculate, what it does is it goes down through all the uh, faces and it says, which way would you should you be pointed if you were pointed so that people could see it properly and it flips the direct uh, the flips the direction of the normal so that it actually um, is visible from the proper angle so there's Ralph he's all painted and uh, so flip direction normals are pointed inwards flip, uh, recalculate normals are pointed outward and you have to do that for each part of a model if the model is a multi-part model um, you have to do it for each of the individual parts the tab show the faces flip direction See, so now I'm looking at the model. I can see through the model. Looking at the front, I can see the back. Looking at the back, I can see the front. Normals are all wrong. Recalculate the normals. There we go. And that's what happened in the hair as well. Flip direction. Doesn't look like he has any hair. When I recalculate the normals, his hair comes back in nice and full. And we did it with the eyes as well. Okay, so here's Rolf looking kind of cartoony. What we're going to do now is we're going to add a light. And to do that, you have to be in object mode. So look down here. If you're in edit mode, change it to object mode or just tab out of edit mode. And what we're going to do is we're going to, let's see, go into ortho view and look at him from the front. Where's my 3D cursor? Right there. I'm going to move my 3D cursor over here. And that's where I want the light to come in. Shift Add. Shift A brings up the Add menu in object mode. Come down here, find lamp. And I want sunlight. Okay. so. As soon as we add light, what happens is the model takes on its shading. So with the lamp selected, Ralph's head selected, I'm going to move over, click on, uh, right click on the lamp, select the lamp. Over here I have the object uh, tabs for the lamp. Now I've got a sunlight, energy is one. I can brighten it up and let's see come into ortho mode look to the front 
I want to rotate that lamp. So with the lamp selected in ortho mode, I'm going to press R for rotate. I'm on 3D rotation. No, I'm not. 3D cursor. That means that the lamp will move wherever I put the cursor. Okay, so rotate move it this way. Three, rotate it this way. And we can see that the shading is starting to take place as well. So that means that the materials actually capture light and create shading. Three, I'm going to duplicate the lamp. I'm going to press Shift D, hit Enter, and that duplicated the uh, lamp. Now I'm going to grab that one with pressing G, and I'm going to move it on the Y axis by pressing Y. I'm going to bring it around to the front. Go into front view. Back into side view. Rotate that lamp. Rotate. Oops, wrong one. Uh, that's because my cursor is on that particular lamp. What I want to do is I want to move my cursor from here to here. And to do that, I press Shift S and cursor to selected. Rotate. Turn this particular lamp down a bit. So there he is. He's looking not too bad. We've got bump in him. We can see the bump. We've got uh, all the materials there. He's looking pretty good. And that's as far as I'm going to go with this particular tutorial. I just wanted to touch base on why I had to rotate normals and if you can see through a model what the probable cause is. So until next time, Private Jack out.